my name is Gina Beavers, and I'm an artist. Um, I wanted to wear a shirt that said, I was all right with the status quo today, but I couldn't get it made in time. The truth is, of course, that I'm not. There were always things I wanted to change or things that were not approving fast enough. Police brutality, the disenfranchisement and oppression of black, brown, and immigrant communities. How easy it is for men to rape women and get away with it. The endless toying with women's health care as a political pawn. The lack of protection against discrimination for LGBTQ people in the majority of our 50 states. But there is improving on what we have, and there is fighting to get back to where we were on November 8, 2016. Occupy Museums asks, I'm sorry, I'm shaking. Occupy Museums asks, what can cultural producers do to oppose fascism? Whatever kind of work you make, cultural producers need to become better thinkers. We need criticality, not only for institutions and the quote unquote 1%, but also amongst ourselves. How many artists with master's degrees, sorry, how many artists with master's degrees forwarded me blatantly false news items during this election? People who were moralizing and vehement about Haiti or Honduras because they read a single article on the internet, a single article. If you had asked them about the state of affairs in that region 24 hours earlier, they would have had nothing to say. That is dangerous, both because they don't care about the developing world until it suits their narrative, and because their passions can be turned on and off like a faucet by master con men. Artists, we need to learn how to read skeptically, need to learn about our history, what is happening in the world, even when it might, we might not have a stake in it. Read opposing viewpoints, analyze different leaders' motivations for ourselves, we need to study how our mechanisms of government function, need to read up on what our Constitution says, a Civics 101 for artists. This is not a joke. We got played by our ignorance of all of these issues, by our inability to think constructively and analytically, and our inability to focus on the big picture. We got conned. Science writer Maria Konnikova, who wrote the book The Confidence Game, Why We Fall For It Every Time, says the more we want something to be true, the more skeptical we need to be. If it seems too good to be true, it probably is. There are no shortcuts, no purity, no easy path. We stand here looking at what we face from the afterglow of the relative safety of an Obama presidency. I think sadly, how, how severely we have shot ourselves in our collective foot is still hazy to us now and will become way too clear in the years to come. The truth is, we need to become better thinkers to become better citizens, and better citizens to become artists who can resist fascism. Thank you.